So in this video, I want to talk about seasons three, four, and five from the perspective of, let's say hypothetically, season five was to happen. Now, again, I've spoken about the chances of a season five for many, many, well, many years. I'm, I make it sound like it's been like 10 old years, but it hasn't. It's been a couple of years now since I've talked about the chances of season five, but I don't want to go over that. I want to talk about, let's say hypothetically, season five was to happen. And talk about some of the points that have been brought up for many years about the whole art style drama and I know it's it's a common topic that's brought up and honestly I do find it kind of annoying having to talk about it so often but there are some things that I do want to discuss and kind of get off my chest and see what other people think as well because I think this whole argument of the art style for season four destroyed the whole series is kind of a really weird hill to die on. And I think the reason why is because most of the criticisms that get thrown at season four is just purely art style. That's it. But when you ask for something more than just the art style, because again, the art style doesn't change the core aspects of the story. It's just an art style. And to be honest, I, I do like the art style. Minus the eyes can be a little bit weird. I personally like the rest of it. I feel like the animations are really cool. The characters just look honestly more vibrant. They look like really high quality statues to me. And that's, that's kind of what I like. But also, it does actually, the art style does fit what the light novels is. And the light novels have a distinct art style that the anime for season 4 does follow a lot more closely. I've seen people try to like use specific images to try and be like, Oh, but this one image out of the 50 of them is slightly different and it's more closer to season 3, so you're wrong. And it's like, okay, if you're going to do that, you're going to cherry pick, I'm not going to take you serious. And especially when I've seen people going, oh, but volume one looks more like season three. It's like, no, it, it looks like season four very clearly. It's just, you're trying to take one small section of it. So again, cherry picking just doesn't really work for me. But as I was stating, I feel like a lot of the criticisms that go beyond the art style are only reflexively there because people ask for more than that. They go, hey, okay, so you don't like the art style. Is that it? Because if that's it, then that just seems kind of a little bit shallow. And that's how many people point that out, even myself. And then that's when it comes to that reflexive at attack of, oh, well, the story doesn't make sense. Oh, well, they retconned this. Oh, it doesn't follow the characters. Pro and it's like, um, season four follows the light novels, which is what the writer's intentions are. And I've brought that up in many discussions as well, where fans sit there and complain about how, oh, season four is bad because it changed things. But it's like, yes, but season three went against what the light novel was about, where the writer is very displeased with season three, which was why the studio changed to Passione. And then when you bring that up, instantly it comes to, oh, well, who cares about what the writer says? Who cares about the light novels? Why do you care about watching the anime if you've read the light novels? And I've always been a proponent of, you know, anime to light novel doesn't have to be one-to-one -one completely. And seasons one and two, by the way, do have differences between the anime and the light novel. Again, an, anim uh, an anime is cannot be fully, properly created from a light novel. There are many issues when it comes to pacing, ways of things that can be drawn realistically, budgeting, limits on that kind of stuff. There's a multitude of different limits when it comes to how you go from a light novel to an anime. But that being said, you should be able to keep most of the core aspects of the story in place. And seasons one and two did that perfectly. It's the late part of season three where it started to go in this weird direction. And I myself do not understand why the studio for season three did what they did. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever why they did what they did. Other than maybe they were just being silly and they were like, yeah, let's just completely... I mean, you look at a lot of series now that do remakes and uh, sequels and stuff, and I'm talking like a lot of Western media, and it goes completely against what the envision of the story is. You look at stuff like... Uh, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings and some of those known big series where it grabs the core aspect of what the story is about, the main message and the theme and everything, and then completely deviates into something that doesn't even make sense. And to me, I ask myself, why are you doing that? Other than maybe you're just trying to vandalize someone else's work. And so I kind of wonder that myself when it comes to season three, because I don't really feel like the studio would be just sitting there going, yes, let's vandalize the author's work. Maybe they are. I don't know, it just seems really bizarre why they deviated in the way they did, because season 4 has to then retcon it, which makes it very messy. Which is why you've got that little bonus side, uh, little story, non, well I don't really call it canon, that sort of time travel little thing that 
is talked about with Issei's kids, which now is the most annoying thing out there because you get all these videos going, these are Issei's kids and this is canon, and it's like, no, 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 stop. And that at some point I will talk about in more detail because I've got to go through it, read it, write down notes and everything. But that's another component as well. And so, again, I understand some people don't like the art style. And that's not really what the big debate is about. It's more about why people go from using the art, like they don't like the art style, and then they go lashing out at everything else. It's like a reflexive defensive me mechanism of, oh, I don't like art style. And people go, okay, is that all? And then they go, oh, well, 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 no, that, that's not all. It's it's this and that. And, and again, that's where I point out all these things when it comes to the story, the retconning and all that. And one comment I've seen is, and I get a lot of comments about these because I made a video a long time ago on the other channel titled High School DxD Season 5 Art Style Change. And I've done a multitude of videos, old versus new. And I get a lot of these comments that people see those old videos from time to time. And one of those comments is, why do you care about the anime if you've read the light novels? And it's like because a lot of us enjoy seeing the light novels come to life in an anime format. What's the harm in that? So we're getting told that we can't enjoy the idea of a light novel going into an anime, but at the same time, when we criticize them about an art style change, it's suddenly, you know, it's okay for them to do one thing, but it's not okay for us. It's, it's a weird situation when it comes to the anime community about telling other people how they can enjoy stuff. And again, I'm not saying people have to like season four. If you'd really dislike the art style that much, again, you can just choose not to ever watch it again. You can just never rewatch it. And... As far as season five goes, I think if season five does happen, it will be done by Panchen Studio. I'm very confident in that. Or if it does get done by a different studio, it, it will be different. It will not be the season three studio because I think the writer is very much not happy with what they did. But I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of websites try to claim, oh yes, it's gonna go back to the old studio. And that just gets kids to just get overly excited. Like, oh my God, it's going back to the old art style. This is the best thing. It's like, nah. I also want to talk about the idea of a remake because I think that would be an interesting discussion as well. Whether the chances of that are very low or not, it still would be a fascinating discussion because if you look at something like Spice and Wolf, that's getting a, like a, a remake and you're getting two cores, which Spice and Wolf had, their original series had two seasons, single core. This is one season, two cores so far, which means it will catch up to what the old version made so I, i'm i'm very interested by that and that's done by passion issue that's why i bring it up so i just wondered the idea of if high school dxe was to get a remake what would it look like but at the same time we're in 2024 and it's one of those where it's like would there be a lot of backlash just because people like to complain but i, I don't think it really would matter in the long term as long as the studio is happy to make it that's all that matters and i think it would do extremely well the reality is, is this issue of a constant endless debate. I understand a lot of people are tired of the debate, and so am I in some degree, but it's a never-ending war that I feel like we all end up getting dragged into, and we've all got to weigh our own opinion on, and I just don't think the art style change is that big of a deal. I mean, you look at the Data Live community, they had a different, different studio for every season almost, and yet the art style changed incrementally with that, and none of them really complained. Yet, for some reason, we get a change with DxD, and it's the end of the world. I think a lot of the other reason why is because a lot of people that do watch High School DxD, newer generations of fans, are very young. And I mean very, very, very young. And so when they see that change in art style, they just have this weird reflexive change. At the end of the day, I don't know why they complain about the art style, because it, it, it looks like Fortnite crap. <laughs> I'm mostly joking there, but I'm like, I thought to myself right then in that moment, I'm like, why do they care about that kind of style when it kind of would fit more closer to Fortnite and they're probably all playing Fortnite because they're all probably like 12 or 13 year olds that are complaining. So I'm just making a, a random guess on what these kind of kids are. But going back to the core aspect, I just think this whole idea of, of attacking season four for all aspects of the story when actually the story followed the light novels much better while season three again deviated very much in the later part and did a lot of damage to the characters because it did it did stuff to the characters that didn't make any sense and that's why it had to be retconned but yet for some reason people like this idea of oh well the anime going anime original is good no because it would actually lower the chances of it ever getting another season because then you would need a storyboard 
that would be more focused on creating an anime original, which would be far more expensive, which would reduce the chances of it ever getting another season. This is why sticking to the source material is so important, because it means they don't have to focus on, okay, what story are we going to create? They grab the light novels and go, okay, this is the story, we just got to follow this, let's get a storyboard to do the basics in outlining how this is all going to flow. It's far less work, which means far less budget needs to be allocated, which means they make more money, which increases the chances of another season. If they w went from season three to season four, kept the same studio and went like that, they would have to spend more budget on rectifying the issue of, okay, well, this is anime original now. So now we have to create a whole new story that would create more issues down the line and then they would have to spend more time making sure that it makes sense. Again, the source material is there for the writers, so the writers like, oh, you know, got this here, this is the blueprint, use it. So I think that's an another big thing that people forget, but it's, it's an endless long debate and I think I will be probably talking about it again at some point, but I want to know what people's thoughts are. Positive or negative, I want to see what they are. Again, it's okay if you disagree with me, just keep it civil. Because at the end of the day, I'm just simply disagreeing with many people. And I know I made the comment about, like, these kids. But I just look at a lot of their accounts, and they seem very young. They seem to be into things like Fortnite and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, wh why are you that upset about the art style if you're into that kind of stuff? You should be used to it. So it's more of an observation about where I perceive their age to be. Because I know... A lot of young individuals do watch High School DxD. The older generation is mostly around like myself because we started from season one. Newer generation anime fans find DxD now and are around that age bracket. So it's, that's why I say what I say. It's not meant to be seen as an insult. If it is, I'm not going to apologize. Toughen up. Get some thicker skin. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.